This is the NBA Finals, Game 2. The 76ers come in off a critical Game 1 win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Mavericks. This is the NBA Playoffs, and it's up next. The NBA Playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. The Sixers are full. Well, they're in the hunt once again, DA. Thanks. So Dallas will get the first possession. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. A backcourt pair will be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Maxi Kleba is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Bullock in at the three slot. And he drives in. Rebounded by Tucker. Now the 76ers with it. Harden scanning the floor. Harris outside. Let's take a look at Dallas. They've overcome a number of challenges just to get here. Now down one game to none. Right they face a huge hurdle. And you know what? I think they learned a lot in game one. Going against the best the league has to offer. They know they have to make some adjustments. Keep everyone involved and they have to hit the open shots they get. We were talking about the adjustments before. I agree. McGee finds Dinwiddie. Two on the clock. Shot clock reset for Dallas. Here's Doncic. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. Pass to Tucker. Now here's MB. Shot from 16. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. I don't think there's anybody who works harder for his points than Harden does. I mean, if he has to attack the glass to get him, he'll do that too. McGee sets the pick for Dinwiddie. Here's the pass to Doncic. Back to Dinwiddie. Fires the three. The rebound by Harden. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. And it's Harden shooting it down. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam team. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a glass bell for sure. Pass to Bullock. Up a three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's MB. Back to Harden. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. He kicks to Embiid. No good from outside. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. 11 feet away. Misses off the left eye. And it's Maxi with the ball for the 76ers. They easily took Thursday's game. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, sticking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. The 76ers yeah. shooting their first free throws here tonight. The first free throw is good. From six men, his first few years to star player now, Harden Rise has been really fun to watch. He's willing to take on more and more responsibility each passing season. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. George Niang comes in for P.J. Tucker. Matisse Thibel checked in for Harris. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. Now, here's Thibel. Tim Hardaway unable to get his last shot to go. And that one's good. Fable. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. One nineteen left in the first quarter. Outside Hardaway. To the middle. Trying to find Wood. Yet 
gets it to him. But you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Harden outside. the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, there's a reason Harden's at or near the leaders in free throws attempted every season. You know, he's really honed in on that ability to draw fouls. He's made it virtually an art form. Right away, no good. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Now, here's Melton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside Hardaway. Powell, the pass to Dinwiddie. To the paint. Here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Oh, I tell you what, on the jam, Wood can just be ruthless. Won't let anybody stop him when he's going to the cup. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. 76ers lead by two. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the 76ers, what are your thoughts? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. So with Martin on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Jake Milton is out there with Maxi, and it's Harris in at the small forward position. Milton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Tim Hardaway picks one up. The 76ers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And he sinks the second. And so it's Dallas with it. They trail by three. Hardaway against Maxi. Here's Doncic. The shot misses. And Philadelphia the other way now. Maxi looking it over. Pass to Milton. Back to Maxi. Takes it inside. A jump hook. They grab their own miss. Three on the clock. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. This is a shot Tucker has in his bag. The defense has to know that. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Inside, on the way kicks to Finney Smith. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Pass to Wood. Doncic against Maxi. Hardaway with a wide-open look. Hangs home the trifecta. Hardaway has got his first three points of the game. Hardaway Jr. rises and fires with great confidence from there. And Bede with a screen on Hardaway. Harris outside. And Bede against Wood. A three ball. Tucker can't get it to go. The Mavericks trail. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Six to shoot. From ten feet out, that's good on the jump shot. 
Doncic has got the game tied up here for the man. Boy, that jump shot is wet. Hold this, says Doncic. Any kind of airspace, and he's knocking that down. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for P.J. Tucker. Mark Miles, he's checked in for Maxi, And it's the Anthony Melton in for Shake Milton. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Christian Wood. Mike Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, Dinwiddie following Tobias Harris's three-point attempt. Dinwiddie passes to Doncic. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Korkmaz kicks to Harris. Back to Korkmaz. An easy two points on the lane. And the 76ers lead by two. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Picked him clean. We've got 108 left here in the second. Melton passes to Harris. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Doncic. It drops for his second made shot of this game. An unimpressive 2 of 7, though. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. Here's Korkmaz. Nice move. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Six seconds separating the shot game clocks. The pass to Pop. To the wing right side. Got a piece of it. Five to shoot. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Here's McGee. A miss that time. Would have put him up. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. It's all tied in Philadelphia. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks. Okay, David, much appreciated. And as we... Pew-wee, something stinks, and it's not just Kenny's feet. Looking at the series breakdown for the Mavericks. And that's all for us. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. On the floor for Dallas, a backcourt pair will be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Reggie Bullock is out there with Maxi Kleber. And it's McGee in at the pivot, handing the middle. Now, here's Doncic for the miss from Joel Embiid. Back to Dinwiddie. Good. Had a chance to take the lead there. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Harris outside. Embiid sets the big for Hart. Back to Harris. Let's the three fly. Mavericks with the rebound. About one minute played here in the second half. Doncic right side. Teardrop shot. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Doncic has got the lead up to two now for the man. And it's Harris with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Maxi against Dinwiddie. Maxi kicks to Harden. Good on the three-point shot. 
Harden's got 10 points in the game. Learning to play off the ball with the guys like Westbrook and CP3 and Kyrie. Harden sinking the jump. Weaver with it. Maxi covering. Down low. Takes it out to Dinwiddie. Back to McGee. And the slam dunk by McGee. I like the fact that McGee not just going through the motions here. I mean, setting a good solid screen, timing his roll perfectly. That's a basketball 101 there. Now, here is Harden. Ten points for him. To the inside. Here's Embiid. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, you can't go for the shot fake. As soon as Embiid has you in the air, it's over. And some changes here for the 76ers. Mark Miles, he's jacked in for Tobias Harris. And a Jake Milton in for James Harden. Dallas also making some changes. Wood, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Dorian Vinny Smith comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Luka Doncic. Wood flying up to slam down the alley. Emphatic. Maxi against Hardaway. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And he's got his first free throw of the game. On the 76ers with some changes. Harold comes in for Joel Embiid. And it's George Niang in for P.J. Tucker. And Dallas with a change here, too. Now he's checked in for Maxi Cleveland. Now here's Dinwiddie. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Finney Smith. Rebound by Harold. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Here's Maxi driving inside. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Now here is Hardaway. Tinwitty outside. From deep. Kirk Miles grabs the miss. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Maxi passes to Harold. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. There you see Harold's great strength. We call that weight room ammonia strong. Leads to the and one. Matisse Theibel checked in for the 76ers. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Maxi. Now here's Tim Whitty. Outside Hardaway. From outside the arc. He's off on that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. 110 left to play in the third. Milton finds Melton. Back to Milton. Harrell, a screen on Dinwiddie. Milton, the pass to Harrell. And Harrell slams it in. Boy, that's a forceful, intimidating slam by Harrell. Dared the defense to try to stop him there, and I don't think they wanted to. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. There's 45 seconds left in the third. To the paint. Here's Finney Smith. And it comes off the front of the rim. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Pass to Harold. Hardaway against Melton. Powell pulls it in. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Passes it to Finney Smith. Here's Wood. the run and he could not get that one to go out of contact and he'll go to the line for two well you look at wood and it's versatility that makes him a tough cover inside and out both teams deciding to change it up and that one goes in two from the line that time we're at the end of the third and we've still got a close one 76 ers ahead up three and coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. Let's get this pace back up. All right? 
Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Matisse Thibel's out there with Harden, and it's Harris in at the three, a small four. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Bullock dishes to Doncic. Pass to Wood. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And here's Doncic from the arc. Rebounded by Tucker. The scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Harris outside. Back to Harden. Now, Feigl. Harden up top. Kleba with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. Maxie's checked in for Matisse Thibel. The Mavericks also with a sub. McGee's checked in. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Steps back and shoots. That one's not going to go. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. Sure would make things a lot easier, too. Here's Dinwiddie, and he hits it to tie the game up. Dinwiddie's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Harden the pass to Harris. Plays it up off the glass. And the 76ers lead by two. Harris has really become much more adept at finishing hard shots. Great focus there. Defense. Pass to Bull. Over to the wing to take the lead. Another three for down two. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. MB, no good. Dallas has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Kleba kicks to Doncic. It's over Tucker. And that one goes long. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Harden against Doncic. Oh, they get it back. Here's Embiid. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, and he'll shoot two free throws. That's his second. It's on JaVale McGee. And the physicality of MB, unmatched really, yet he's so much fun to watch because he's agile, has skill and touch. Man, is he a joy to watch him. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Dallas calls timeout. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. He said he just wants them to play faster. It feels like they've been too lackadaisical with the ball and that their aggressiveness just isn't there right now. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Now, here's Bullock. Lock at six. Doncic against Harden. Dallas, no good that time either. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter of this one. On the wing. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleber's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Kicks it through both. Vicious to Doncic. Good on the shot. No fear or hesitation in the eyes of Doncic. He loves the chance to take and make these big ones. Here is Harden. Pass to Embiid. 
and you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. So far in the fourth quarter, they belong to six points. Now, here's Doncic. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. Timeout call, the 76ers. They're behind by one. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And two shots coming up. Typically, Embiid makes the most of his free throw opportunities, which might make the defense really regret this foul. And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. Huge free throws there. Now they've got the lead. Down just with it. He kicks it to McGee. Good Doncic. On the clock from 12 feet out. No good. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, break two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, It takes a lot, but I'm built for it, and uh, I'm going to just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.